In the three years of fighting the virus, China has been upgrading its medical infrastructure. In rural areas, investment in equipment and personnel has been significantly strengthened. All these efforts are geared towards guaranteeing the effective operation of the integrated medical system, in which community hospitals and township health centers play a key role. This is a suburban township in Chongqing municipality, southwest China. This 10-month-old baby, suffering from a persistent cough, was rushed to the Wujia Town Health Center. In mid-December last year, the number of daily outpatient visits here reached a high of 340, compared to an average of 190 previously. Since December, the clinic has been constantly crowded, with many cases like this child's. Wujia Town has an elderly population of over 6,000, accounting for around 16% of all its residents. The hospital's inpatient wards used to have 120 beds. That number has been increased to 203. All are occupied. This local hospital regularly receives assistance from visiting doctors. Wang Yi is a doctor from the Department of Critical Care Medicine at a large city hospital. She arrived just in time to put the ventilators to use. By the end of 2021, China had almost a million primary level medical and healthcare institutions nationwide, including 35,000 township health centers and nearly 600,000 village clinics. In remote, mountainous areas with large ethnic populations, doctors sometimes have to cross mountains to visit their patients. 56-year-old Zhao Yuanqiang is the only doctor in this village of 1,300 people. Many of them belong to an ethnic minority with its own traditional medicine techniques. Part of Zhao's job involves gathering herbs to make treatments. Because of a recent COVID outbreak, he has been going out more often. The villagers' homes are scattered across the mountains. For the elderly residents, he makes house calls. <laughs> There are more than a million village doctors in China. In the past few years, the country has succeeded in ensuring that even the remotest rural areas are served by a doctor. Since China loosened its epidemic control measures, community-level medical facilities have become vital means of support for rural residents. 
The prospect of hundreds of millions of people returning from the cities to their rural hometowns for spring festival raised the specter of a devastating second wave of COVID infections. But it never arrived. 